I'm Mike Halsey. The internet is a dangerous place, not that you'd know by looking at it. It's social networking and chat with your friends and a bit like shopping and checking your bank balance and sending and receiving emails and playing games. But there are people out there who want to take advantage of you, they want to exploit any gaps in your knowledge, and they want to exploit any weaknesses in your computer security. So in this webcast, I'm going to show you some of the things that you can look for when you're online to keep yourself safe. Here we've got Amazon, or at least we think we've got Amazon. Criminals these days are becoming extremely adept at making emails and sometimes entire websites look like the genuine article with them when they're not. But there are easy ways to check whether a website is really genuine or not. Here in the address bar, we can see that the main address for the website we're visiting, in this case Amazon.co.uk, is highlighted in a darker colour to the rest of the address. This is so you can be sure exactly what website you're visiting. If the highlighted name there is a series of numbers or something different than what you're expecting, then you should be wary of the website you're on. Not every browser will do this for you though. Here you can see that the entire web address is all in the same colour. The bit you want to look for is the bit at the beginning, just after the letters HTTP or HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. Any website that takes personal information from you, including financial information, must have a security certificate if that information is to be encrypted and kept secure when it's transmitted. You should look for a padlock. It's commonly in the address bar. Here it's on the right hand side. You can click on the padlock and check that the security certificate has been issued to the same website as the one that you're visiting. In this example, the padlock is right down in the bottom right corner of the window, but you can still click on it to bring up information about the security certificate. Also, in this browser, a blue bar has appeared next to the web address, which you can also click on to bring up security information. It's there to let you know that this website is safe. Now we're at an online bank, and we can see the entire address bar has turned green. This is to let us know that this site has been tested and is safe and secure for us to use. More and more web browsers are now adopting coloured address bars to let us know about safe and unsafe websites. If the address bar had turned red, for instance, we'd know that the website was unsafe and we shouldn't use it. In addition, the name of the bank here has appeared to the right of the address bar, so we can click on that and get more information. In the example here, the browser has put a large green button just before the web address to let us know that this website is safe and has been tested. You can click on that to get more information. Similarly with this web browser, which is telling us in green the name of the organisation that we're online with. Here our browser is warning us with a yellow information bar that the website we're visiting wants us to download or install an add-on or a plugin. In this case, it's the Adobe Acrobat Reader, which we know is perfectly safe. You may specifically want to download or install a plugin from a website, for instance, if you don't have the Flash Player and you want to visit a website such as YouTube. If you see this on a website where you're not familiar with the program or the plugin that it wants to download, you should be wary and not allow it unless it's specifically something that you want or need. You can allow it by clicking on the bar. This web browser is also alerting us that the website wants to download a plugin or a piece of software. It's giving us an allow button or a cancel button. Not all web browsers are the same however, and in this example the information bar is blue and is at the bottom of the window. But it does warn you this type of file can harm your computer. Are you sure that you want to download it? Here we have a website that's asking for personal information, your credit card details for a purchase. But personal information can include anything from your date of birth to your mother's maiden name 
to any middle names. The kind of things you're asked when you're asked to confirm a security question. You should always be careful before typing this information into a website and you should never type personal financial information into a website that doesn't have a security certificate and is showing a padlock. Now we have a spam email. You should never click on any links in spam emails regardless of how good the offer might look. They're either trying to sell you fake goods or no goods at all or just trying to con you out of money or personal information. Here we have a phishing email. Phishing emails are ones that look like they're genuinely from banks or other websites that you have financial arrangements with that ask you to log in and confirm your account or security information. Now the simple rule here is that no bank or website will ever email you asking you to do that because they know that this is what criminals are trying to trick you with. So if you receive an email, then either contact the bank or website and check that they intended to send it, forward it to abuse at the bank or website, or just ignore it and delete it. If you click on the link accidentally, then you can check that the address that you've gone to is genuine or not through the methods I mentioned earlier about checking the web address in the address bar and checking the colour of the address bar. You needn't worry too much about what you do online though. It's normally perfectly safe and there are plenty of places where you can get help and advice. This is one such example, the Microsoft website, microsoft.com forward slash protect. Another of my favourite sites is Get Safe Online, run by the British government in association with websites such as PayPal and eBay and companies such as Microsoft. These websites provide a huge amount of helpful advice and information and they can keep you up to date on the latest threats to your online safety. and home safety including antivirus and malware software and the importance of keeping your computer and your software up to date. But for now, goodbye.